Number 85. What is the effect on the concentration of ammonia, hydroxide ion, and the ammonium ion when the following are added to a basic, a buffer solution of equal concentrations of ammonia and ammonium nitrate? And then we're adding NaOH. Now, NaOH, right, that should be ringing a bell, right, because NaOH is one of our six strong bases. So I'll just put SB. And if NaOH is a strong base, base, that means that it's going to dissociate 100% into its ions. And the ion split is right where the metal is, right? You have Na and you have OH-. So in essence, if you're increasing the amount of NaOH, right, we know that we're going to be increasing the amount of sodium, right, Na+, and the hydroxide ion. Now, to see if anything is going on here, Hopefully one of these ions are in our balanced equation. Keep in mind, if you do need to recap as to why we chose this equation, you could always go back to number 85A, the first one in this number, in which we go into specifically how this came about. But I'm just going to assume that we know why we picked this equation. So now we're just going to go back and say that, okay, since we increased NaOH, we had to have increased the OH minus concentration and that's all good because OH is actually in the equation. So if I increase NaOH, I increase the hydroxide ion. So I know that my OH is going to increase. And that answer is one of the questions. What happens to the concentration of hydroxide? That is increasing. Now, from that, we have to figure out, well, what's happening to the ammonium and what's happening to the ammonia, which is the NH3. Well, this comes back to Le Chatelier's principle. If you're increasing, if you have a too much amount of something, you will always shift to the opposite side. So in terms of which arrow predominates, if you have more of your products, you will always shift to the other side. So in this case, we will be predominantly going to the left. And if you're going to the left, to the reactants, the ammonia is going to increase. So that answers what's going on with the ammonia. That's going to increase. And since we're going to the reactant, what's happening to the product? You have to decrease that. So ammonia would decrease. And there are all of your effects. So you have a, a little increase in hydroxide, and then that causes a decrease in ammonium ion and an increase in ammonia. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I think there's one more part in this question, so hang tight if you guys are on the playlist. And if you want to press the subscribe button, in the meantime, I thank you so much for that. You guys rock. Keep studying hard, and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.